Hi everyone, so today I am doing a review on Half Bad by Sally Green. Before I get on with the review, I'll tell you a little bit about the story. So basically, this book is about a boy named Nathan, and it is set in modern day UK, the UK, uh, multiple parts, but mostly in England. And basically, Nathan is half white witch, half black witch. White witches are basically good, black witches are evil, and they really don't mingle at all. They hate each other, and so it's kind of an abomination that Nathan is half white witch, half bad witch. He's the only one of his kind. And and because of it, he is looked upon as an outcast and people treat him cruelly and they kind of only see the black witch side in him. White witches kind of rule everything. They have their own council, which is sort of like the government of all the witches. And black witches, they are hunted by some white witches that become hunters. They uh, There's like specific jobs just to kill black witches. The humans are basically unsuspecting that there are witches, so they they are called fanes. And in this world, when you turn 17, you get three gifts from a family member, which basically represents you getting your powers, whatever power that may be. There's different types of powers. The book starts off, and it says on the inside cover, with Nathan being shackled in a cage, being tortured, and he wants to look for his father. Oh, I forgot to tell you about his father. His father, Marcus, who is the Black Witch, he is the most powerful and evil Black Witch of all, and that's also why people look down upon him and hate him. And so he is shackled and caged in the beginning of the book, and he wants to escape and find his father to go ahead and learn more about himself because he doesn't really know a lot about himself. He was just always told how bad he was just because he's half black witch and no one really, besides his family members, no one really looked at him as an actual person, as even having half white witch. And so he's really trying to discover himself and find his father and set things straight and eventually also get his powers because he will be turning 17. Now getting on to what I thought of the book, first of all I thought the format of writing was very interesting in the beginning. There are very short chapters that are only like a page or two long. Like here's, I don't know if you can see that, there's one chapter, just that little paragraph. Uh, and then in the beginning it's also starting out as second person, so they say you, like you went here, you ate this. Like it's really interesting and it's very different and I like that in the beginning. I thought it was interesting. I didn't want it for the whole book which is good that it went you know to first person point of view later but it was interesting in the beginning and it really caught my attention. Another thing about the writing, they really get into Nathan's head really well so when they talk about his thoughts, if his thoughts are really sporadic, the sentences are just totally sporadic like it's sunny, it's raining now, it's sunny again. Like it's really short and and really fast and just quick thoughts and so it really makes you like feel like you're in Nathan's head and makes you understand him more and how he's feeling. One thing I did notice is that since it is set in modern day England and the humans or the fanes are really unsuspecting almost totally about witches, there isn't really a whole lot of magical world or magical talk. I don't know how to explain it. I was just, you know, the book is about witches and I was just really expecting it to be, I mean, not like Harry Potter, but you know how Harry Potter was just all about the magic? This was really not all about the magic. It was more about the character and there was magic. There was talk of potions and spells and stuff like that, but it was pretty minimal and I was expecting more and I was really looking forward to there being a lot of witchy and magic talk and there wasn't a lot of that, so that was kind of a disappointment for me, but that was just an expectation that I had. I also noticed that it was very character development based and I don't really read much stories that are super heavy into character development just because they're more slow and they really focus on the growth of a person and I'm more into action based books, books with actual, you know, just events happening constantly and so the book was really slow for me. It wasn't boring at all. It was very interesting and I was interested to learn about Nathan and his past but I was just hoping for more action. On the inside cover, it talks about Nathan being 16 and being shackled and wanting to escape and stuff like that. And so if the story 
started from there, there would be a whole lot of action because that's where the action kind of picked up. It was really good towards the end and it had a total cliffhanger. But yeah, it made it seem like the story was going to start from there and it went backwards in time and went from him being a child and a preteen to a teen. So it was kind of misleading in that sense and there was just so much character development which was good to set the base for the story. I think there's going to be a lot of action in the future book since this is a trilogy and so I am interested to see you know, what the future books hold. I gave it a 3 out of 5 stars. So yeah, that is my review of Half Bad by Sally Green. Let me know what you guys thought of it if you guys read it. I would love to know your thoughts. Like I said, I kind of had a different expectation. So I would love to know what you guys thought of it if you read it. But overall, it was a good book. If you really like character development, then I think you guys would really like this book. It's not so much for the action-paced or action-packed fast-paced lovers like me, but it was an interesting read and I'm hopeful for the next two books in the trilogy. So let me know what you guys thought. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see y'all later. Bye!